the state after that trip out west. Keep one. We have talked a lot, and I, and I think they have tried to get better. Uh, my uh, my frustration with them the Bethune Cooking game is we were just out there. You know, we weren't we weren't really working at our craft, and, and we've got. We, I think we have so much more upside, but we've got to continue to work hard at it. I think there's just an opportunity to do it. Can you kind of tell what the roof of a team is going in? I mean, after you've seen him a couple times. Yeah, I'm not that smart. I mean, honestly, I'm not, I don't, I can't, I can't tell the future. I, but I, I can see things that, that we're not doing very well that we certainly could get better at that will make us better. Like what, I mean, half-court offense, or is it a variation of things? Is it anything in particular? Well, there's a lot of things. We're, we're too careless with the ball. We turn the ball over way too much. We have, they say in tennis, the unforced errors. We have too many unforced errors. You're going to, people are going to force you to turn it over some, but you shouldn't just throw it around just for the sake of throwing it around. We throw it around way too much. We're, you know, we're like 15 turnovers a game. We need to be 10 or below. If we're 10 or below, we're pretty good. Our angles got to get better. We make, we make bad closeout angles. We make bad pursuit angles in the press. We just, our angles got to get a little better. Making a few shots wouldn't hurt either. Actually, we're shooting 27% from three. And, not very good. Is that kind of like a deer in a headlight situation? I mean, you can see kids shoot in practice, but they can't bring it to the court, or? I think we've taken some, we've taken some contested ones, but for the most part, we just didn't know that. As simple as that. <laughs> didn't go on. Saturday morning, obviously took Saturday off, practice Sunday, they were pretty good Sunday. Then we took Monday and Tuesday off, because we're going to practice Sunday and Monday to get ready for Tuesday, so gave them two days off. I think most of them came in the gym, got some shots up, but we went out and recruited. Practice yesterday, today, and tomorrow, get ready for kind of so I'll try to clean up some of the stuff that we're not doing very well. Is it difficult because there's a quick turnaround? you got Kennesaw and then a big game on Tuesday. I mean, you don't know the outcome of Saturday, obviously, but... It's kind of what happens. Yeah. You know, I mean, that's... Take as much I, as think you can. I mean, I think it's... I think it's good. I mean, I think that's more in line with what happens in March. Justin, how are you? Yeah, I like the too. I knew you would. I knew you would. But, um, as Devin starts to see, you know, like what Steve and Coach Fisher did in the game planning against them, uh, I'm assuming he's going to start seeing a lot more of that throughout the season. How does he adjust to it, and what kind of adjustments do you know does he make? Uh, passing wise, does he shoot from different spots on the floor? What, what, we well, it wasn't a game plan. I mean, Fish has been doing it since he took over at Michigan. So he's been doing it for 20-some years. And, and it wasn't a surprise. Dev knew it was coming. I mean, we, we talked about it before that. He just forced things. He just, he, Devin's one of those guys, he, he wants to do well. He really wants to help his team. And sometimes he, forces things to, to try to make things happen that sometimes aren't there. I'm assuming you'll see a lot more of that kind of stuff than as the season yeah, going to see it too. I'll see it Tuesday, but that's what they do. It's not 
It's not for Devin Williams. It's just what they do. That's how they guard the post. They double team the post. What kind of a leadership role has Devin taken on this year? Being he's been on? he's been great. He's been uh, Devin's very knowledgeable in what we do. He he retains a lot, and so he's he's helped our younger guys a bunch. He's helped some of our older guys who don't retain quite so much. Post tax, what? Thank you. Is that what separates him? Obviously, less than What separates him is he can go in between two guys and separate them and come out with the ball. That's what, that's what separates him. He's a, I mean, he's a, he's one of the premier rebounders in the country. But he always has. He's always rebounding the ball. Mm -hmm. Won't call it a trap game, but is it hard for the guys to stay focused on Saturday with Tuesday approaching? We haven't played in a week. They're anxious to play. I think. If not, it'll help them. What have you seen when you're taking a look at Tuesday with, with Virginia? They're extremely well coached. They don't beat themselves. Second in the country in turnovers per game at seven and a half a game. They just don't beat themselves. And they got good players. Brogdon's a pro. Uh, their inside guys are, are big and experienced. They force people to try to play at their pace. It'll be interesting because we're going to try to force them to play at our pace, which is different than their pace. You were you mentioned after the uh, San Diego State game that you had, had a talk with Dax, but he was able to respond. Was it just a matter of wanting to get more energy out of him, or what were you seeing in him before that game and then and in that game? I thought he had great energy in the game. Right. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, I think I think we had played a couple games that weren't very challenging. And we just kind of got a little blah. I don't know if you've answered this already, but have you guys made a decision on Brandon yet? Uh, trying to see what he can do. <laughs> Be nice to have him. Looks to us like he's probably ahead of schedule, warming up full with the team. I think he's on schedule. I don't think he's ahead of schedule. Do you have a date that would just be way too late to play him? Or can you go until, I don't know, January, February, and then make a decision? I'm not going to go that long. 